Ben Shapiro is outraged that Build-A-Bear is featuring a RuPaul version of their bears that you can purchase. Now, I've never been to Build-A-Bear, um, so I'm assuming that like you can just grab particular elements and create whatever bear that you want. Um, but for whatever reason, because there is a RuPaul Build-A-Bear that you can make, Ben Shapiro is real mad, and he's going to tell us how mad he is in this video here. They say that they're not coming after the kids. That's a lie. They're coming after the kids. Apparently, Build-A-Bear, which is a store that I've taken my kids to a lot, right? This is where you, you actually go to the store, and they have sort of these, these kind of teddy bear skins, and you get the, the filling, and you fill the bear, and you take it home, and the kids love it. It's really fun. They've decided that they need to drag queen the... Uh... Wait, that sounds offensive, because if you're taking the teddy bear skin and you're filling it... Like, couldn't you argue that that's teaching the kids to, like, I don't know. Um, I'm not going to make that joke. You know what I was gonna, going for. I'm not going to make that joke, though. <laughs> you know exactly what the fuck I was thinking. I'm not going to. I'm just not going to say it, okay? The kids. So yeah, tax, taxidermy. <laughs> that's what I was going for, Twitchy. <laughs> You're all thinking it, okay? The way he described it, there was something just, like, inherently sexual about that so we'll, we'll move on from that workshop is now offering a new rupaul drag queen bear which Love makes it. perfect sense because you definitely need to teach your kids about boys who dress up as girls the stuffed animal immediately caused outrage online according to the daily mail with many calling out the business for selling the bear amid growing controversy regarding drag performances growing controversy regarding drag performances and who is driving this controversy ben Tell us, who's driving this controversy? Look, I'm going to be completely honest with you all. It is going to be nearly impossible to continue talking about this while holding back my overwhelming urge to call Ben Shapiro the F-slur. I'm like that meme of the kid in school with like the bulging veins. That's me right now because like there's something about him that just like brings out the inner schoolyard bully in me. And I'm not even a bully, but like... He just, he makes me want to bully him for justifiable reasons, arguably, right? But, like, I just, I, I can't help myself. Um, like, I, I, it's overwhelming. Like, I want to call him the F-slur, but I can't because I would be in violation of Twitch's terms of service. But, like, you understand, like, I feel like this feeling that I have is legitimate. And I know you all feel it too, right? It's just, <laughs> I don't that's, I'm just being honest, okay? That's that's where I'm at, okay? That's I see Ben Shapiro. <laughs> I see this fucking... The performative outrage over things that he knows are just non-issues, and I just... I, I want to bully him, okay? I want to shove him into a, into a locker. The controversy first erupted online with uh, my friend Matt Walsh's tweet, which included a screen oh, grab they, of... The as I was saying, they're the ones who are... Driving the outrage. Build a bear website with the RuPaul bear advertised. The drag queen bear is stated as being included in the bear cave, but still shown on the general website, which is accessible to all. Apparently, it's it's for eighteen plus shoppers, but it's right there at the top of the front page. Cover bear, put the fur in your walk, head to paw, let the whole body talk. The website reads: Two iconic pop culture institutions join forces for this one of a kind collector's item made in tribute to the world's most famous drag queen. Oh, isn't that nice? Well. Oh, shut up. He, look, this man is so full of shit. He can't even pretend anymore to be outraged because when you've talked about how Cat in the Hat has gone uh, too woke, or no, no, actually, I, I'm misremembering. This was back in the era when they were claiming that cancel culture was too much and Cat in the Hat was getting canceled and uh, Potato Head was getting canceled. But in this new era where everything has gone woke, like when you've talked about how uh, I don't know, Budweiser has gone woke and this has gone woke and M&Ms have gone woke, but also they're no longer fuckable, but they've gone woke simultaneously. Like when you've gone through literally cult like every single cultural institution and feigned outrage over how woke they've gotten, like there's got to be a certain point when you're just tired of pretending. And I think that we've reached that point with Ben Shabibo here where he's like, okay, yeah, there's a RuPaul drag queen bear. Um, yeah, this is bad. Like, they, they can't even perform it anymore because, like, they've, they've played this this same fucking song again and again and again. You know how, like, you love a song on the radio? Um, well, not radio, but, like, when you're listening to a song, 
and it comes on Pandora and you love it. And at first you're really addicted to, to the song and you listen to it again and again and again. And eventually you kind of just get sick of hearing it. I think that that's where conservatives are. But because this whole anti-woke outrage bullshit is very clickbaity and it gets them views, they've got to they've got to do this. So he's sitting here obviously not really giving a shit about this because who does and he's pretending to be outraged about a fucking teddy bear listen if you i, I just want to put this out there if you're outraged about a teddy bear then your life must be really really good because like there are things in people's lives to where a teddy bear is literally the last fucking thing on their mind like if they saw a teddy bear with a strap-on dildo attached to it they wouldn't give a shit because most people are concerned about real issues. This is not a real issue. This is clown shit. Ben Shapiro knows this. You know, the, the good news is that the blowback caused Build Bear to at least remove this from the main website's carousel of revolving bears and pages. It is still- Oh, see, that's that's an L. Why are you why are you giving in to the woke mob? Or I should say, the, like, what, what's the mob here? Why are you giving in to the mob just in general? Because they say that, right? Like, you shouldn't remove this. Like, you should... Uh, Proudly display it in every single storefront and upsell the RuPaul bear to anyone with a child just to trigger them. It's harmless. It's a fucking teddy bear. I don't give a shit. Like, goddamn. Well, apparently, on the on the website. However, so you know why Build a Bear feels the necessity to do this again. This is a product designed for children. It's beyond me. Except that all of our cultural arbiters have decided that all of this is the most important thing that you can possibly do. They're doing it to fuck with you specifically, Ben. Because fuck you in particular. That's why. I love how he has like this little um, this uh, mug here that says leftist tears. That was from a time when they were claiming that we were the snowflakes. And here they are complaining about, again, a motherfucking teddy bear. I just, I can't, I can't stress this enough. They are outraged over a fucking teddy bear. Let's look at the teddy bear again. It's carousel revolving. Hang on. Shut up, Ben. Let's go back to the teddy bear. This is why they're outraged. A teddy bear. Hold up. Wet, 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 wet,